say yes. So let's try it one more. Let's pretend that we're about ready to welcome an entertainer on the stage. You have a good time so far? That's oh, much fun. On behalf of the Midwest All Music Association, my name is Justin Roberts. In for Scott Sanborn tonight. We're so glad you could be here. Uh, hopefully you got a chance to get things autographed. Hopefully you had a chance to visit with friends. Because now we get to the task at hand. We've given them awards. Now they're going to prove why they're worth it. We start with Jim Miller, ladies and gentlemen. Would you welcome here? He's going to kick off our evening festivity. Stand. And if their families would stand with them. 
if everyone else would please stand and remove their hats, I feel that this song should be a part of every event that we have. And this is my acoustic version. You're welcome to sing along if you know this song and it goes like this. So proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose blood stripes and bright stars through the perilous night. For the ramparts we lost were so gallantly streaming, and the markets red glare. The bombs were speeding They flew through the night That our flag was still Oh, sailors that star stand Never yet waiting For the land of the free Oh, mm -hmm. 
out of San Antonio, Texas, over the years. And uh, I stepped down when I, uh, when I moved to the Virgin Islands, which was about 10 years ago. So uh, so I go back and I sing with the San Antonio Journey Orchestra every chance I get. I'll be going back in November. Oh my gosh, can someone loosen this? You're going to have to do it. Um, I'm going back in November to do the Confederate Air Force Hangar Dance in San Marcos, Texas. seven uh, when I played the DFW model new for the first time and, and I sang uh, you ain't woman enough to take my man by Loretta Lynn and your good girl's gonna be bad by Tammy Moynette so I started singing those cheating songs pretty early in that uh, early in life uh, but when I wasn't with my mother my grandmother was babysitting me and she was a big band singer and a 10 cents a dance girl at Electric Park I'm certain my grandmother sent many a soldier off to war, maybe never to return again with a smile on their face. So I, uh, I think of it as I'm taking after my mother and mostly my grandma Grace. So uh, I usually, of course, have an orchestra behind me or I'm beside my husband because we sing locally, just guitar and singing, old country, a little James Taylor, a little everything. But um, I'm singing with all tracks tonight, so I'll ask for your patience. But one thing I will ask for that I really, really hope people will do because it makes me less nervous. And I am a little nervous without, there's just a comfort when you're surrounded by men in uniform and a big band. But I would really appreciate it if you would dance. 
think of this as the opportunity. I've been in bands all my life, and I can never dance with my husband when I'm working. And so y'all are going to be working uh, in a little bit here. And I'm hoping that you might take the opportunity to dance with your wife or somebody grab them and dance so that I'll feel a little bit better about things. I would certainly appreciate it. This is all 40s music, so you don't need to know the rock back step jitterbug. You can just know the two step and it fits together really, really well. So there's your, there's your tip for the evening. You can two step to big band. Most of the songs I'm doing were written in the 30s and 40s. And I believe you'll recognize most of them. Okay, let's see what happens. Embrace me, my irreplaceable. 
Otherwise, we give it to the Ponderosa. They can keep it and put it up. So I got 30. Give me a 35. You got a guy that will give me a hundred now? As soon as he can, I, I've got a wireless mic. I can follow him into the restroom if you want. I can walk in here. I'll do it. I better not. It'd be, it'd be real awkward. It'd be a lot of awkward background noise if we did that. Then I'd get thrown out. Shit. <laughs> It's only a microphone. It's, so I got 30. If Al says there's somebody with a hundred dollar bid, we'll wait for him. And the hot rods are getting all tuned up, ready to go. Hundred bucks. So let's pretend I'm handing you the award. Congratulations, Hot Rods, and you were going to say. Well, everyone who knows knows I'm the one who never says anything, so I just like to say thanks a lot. Just uh, like the great drummer Ringo, so. All right. There's another one that we can say. We can say we used to get one a piece, so this is, this is a little bit tricky. We'll have to figure out a way to cut it into five pieces. <laughs> there used to be a band called uh, Three Musicians and a Drummer. I never understood it till I met a drummer, and now I got it, so.